Apple is going insane with the performance of iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. Recently, it's out what we are going to get on iPhone 15 Pro Max, the new A17 Bionic chipset. I'll talk about two main things, and the last one would confirm USB Type-C port is coming with the higher charging speeds or not iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max were going to feature a new A17 Bionic chipset made by TSMC 3 nanometer process, which were going to have a 6 core CPU and 6 cores GPU. Interesting to see, last year iPhone 14 Pro Max comes with 6 core CPU and a 5 core GPU, so we can see more raw performance out of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But thing to notice, this new processor is clocked at 3.7 GHz, where last year iPhone 14 Pro Max was at 3.4 GHz with a 4 nanometer process. And Samsung should be worried as Galaxy S20 fields are powered with only 3.36 GHz processor. Also, Apple is not going to update the RAM on iPhone 15 Pro Max, but we are going to see the 6 gigs LPDDR5 RAM. It is worth noting that iPhone 15 and 15 Plus were going to get the same A16 Bionic chipset from last year, but the next year iPhone 16 series were going to see the same A17 Bionic chipset. Apple is updating from Lightning cable to USB Type-C. Now as per rumors, iPhone 15 and 15 Plus were going to see a USB 2.0, where Pro models of iPhone 15 were going to get a USB 3.2 biggest update after the year 2012 and this will increase two things first the charging speed and second the data transfer speeds now apple might limit the charging and data speeds from third-party usb-c connectors iphone 15 pro max first detailed look is out and this is how it looks like compared to the iphone 14 pro max the bezels are quite slimmer compared to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but we are going to see the same dynamic island from last year. Also, for the ones who are going to buy the iPhone 15, we're also going to see a dynamic island on the base model and 15 Plus. It is worth noting that Apple is going to build the iPhone 15 Pro Max with the titanium frame, which will help in two things. First, the weight. It will be lighter than the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and second, it is more durable than the previous generation. Not to mention, but due to a titanium build, we might see an increased price on Pro models. Apple is packing things up and we are going to see the launch of iPhone 15 lineup next month. As per confirmed news, iPhone 15 Pro Max were going to be out on September 13 and we are going to see the pre orders after a day or the same day. Are we going to get a new updated cameras on iPhone 15 Pro Max? Yes, which you should check in this video and I hope you guys are subscribed. I'll see you next time till then, peace out.